welcome. <laughs> I'm trying to set a scene here. No, I love it. Keep going. To do go on presents. Ooh. It's a relaxing scene. So if you just pause for a second, you can hear the fire crackling in the background here. What's that sound like? I don't know why I pointed to the fire and asked what it sounds like. There it is. That's exactly the fire <laughs> playing in the background. That's a log falling. <laughs> Ow, at my toe. At your butt. A log falling out my butt. Oh, it's just a shadow on my toe and it hurt. Matt, come on. No, that was that was uncouth. Not in this setting. <laughs> this is a classy place. This is a classy. Cla- class. We've got marshmallows, but we've also got champagne. The marshmallows were imported <laughs> from cham- the Champagne region. Yeah, that's the only- they are not known for their marshmallows. Yeah. They are not very good. They're awful. But the Rock champagne hard. is the champagne from the marshmallow yeah. region is fantastic. Everly. <laughs> very sweet. This is Do Go On Presents. We haven't done one of these in a little while, but we like to present uh, another podcast, another piece of media, and alert. Your eyes and or ears to it. I'd like to tell you about a picture. Yeah. God, I did it last night. Let me describe it. It's a horse. It's brown. That's sick. Anything in the background or? Uh, no, I haven't got there yet. Yeah, cool. Brown Open horse. Open to suggestions. Brown horse. Um, so just imagine that. Now, this is Do Go On Presents Who Knew It with Matt Stewart. Pretty exciting. Uh, normally when we do these um, Do Go On Presents, we we just cut a clip in from one of the other shows. But this mm. time we're doing it live. This is an exclusive of the newest podcast in the Do Go On Media world. Maybe the, just the world. I don't know if any podcasts have been invented in the last few months. I don't think no, so. I don't think Unlikely. so. Unlikely. None that I've heard of no. or and listened we, to. We would have heard of them. We would have yeah. heard of them. They I've got go, a Google alert for right. new podcasts. <laughs> the word podcast. <laughs> yeah. My email, I get a billion a day. <laughs> it is exhausting. So are you ready to begin? Um, I don't know. Dave, what do you reckon? I'm ready to begin, but I'd also love to know what this show is for people who've never heard it before. Well, I, that's what I'm going to do. I, I do that in that's the, the show. That's the beginning. That's how the show starts. Okay, oh, then, yeah, so I'm, I'm asking if you're ready to do I'm ready that. To be, I'm ready to do oh, that. Are you ready to do the intro? Okay, thank, thank goodness. This is a very uh, exciting time. I might even put the music, the theme in. Okay. It only goes for eight seconds. Yeah, go on. Evan Munro Smith made it, and it is fantastic. Let's do that here then. He did it as like his- Oh, okay, not there then. We'll do it in the next. In the yeah. next gap. <laughs> he do you want to do it, it here? Just, oh, no. It was just the first draft. And I'm like, well, forget any second draft. Yeah. Well, let's put that first let's draft skip, in here. Let's skip to the third oh, okay. draft. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's stop mucking around I'm and wasting fun. everyone's time. I'm having fun. Oh, no, you want to throw to the, throw to the song? Yeah, cool. Here's the, the theme song. Oh, that's professional. Welcome to Who Knew It with Matt Stewart, the show where the guests write the wrong answers. I'm the titular Matt Stewart, and this week I'm joined by Do Go On's own Jess Perkins. I'm also joined by Do Go On's Dave Warnicky. <laughs> but not Do Go On's own. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know why. I... I'm the one who is owned by Do Go On. <laughs> That's right, and don't you forget it. <laughs> huh? Okay. That's right, we made you kid. Get a bit too big for your yeah, boots okay. there, kid. Right. Huh? Out there thinking you can do other stuff. Yeah, well, we're taking 30% of everything you make. <laughs> we are your managers. And That's not a bad little slice of the pie. Yeah. For us. And your dad's. Yeah. My dad's, my dadages. <laughs> I like it. You know, there's momages. You're my dadages. <laughs> I, I didn't know about momages, but <laughs> like, I like you. Like Chris Jenner. <laughs> yes. She's a momager. Oh, uh, of? The Kardashians. Oh, I thought like maybe a, a McDonald's franchise or something. <laughs> I think so. Is she weekends. a McMomager? She's a McMomager. Anyway. <laughs> Great to be here. Great thanks for having us. Oh, thanks so much for being here. Um, <laughs> so we're doing a mini episode of the show to give listeners a little taste. If you like what you hear, you can subscribe to the show. I've already recorded episodes with guests such as Dave Warnicky. <laughs> Do go on. Do go on's. Own. I'm claiming him now. Oh, my God. Uh, Jess Perkins, uh, rented by Do Go On sometimes. <laughs> uh, Cass Page, Zoe B, Nick Maso Mason and Sammy P. Now, you might be wondering how the show works. Well, it's pretty simple, really. <laughs> Ask a question and the contestants have to write a convincing fake answer. Then I read their answers as well as the real one and they guess which one they think is correct. Okay, are we ready to play? Ready to play. Lock it in. So we're just doing three questions this week. It's a mini version. Normally we do seven. It's about an hour long episode. This should be about half an hour. Although the the amount that I'm over explaining things, it may still go for the full hour. Let's see. (laughs) The first question comes from listener Rachel Johnson from Melbourne. And the question is, what is a psychopomp? Psychopomp. What is a psychopomp? (laughs) So (laughs) I have a good one. uh, You once you've got your answer written. 
Send it my way. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good sign. It's a sign. I love when Jess. <laughs> I, love when, I love when Jess is uh, tickled by her own answers. Um, while while they're writing their answers or laughing about them. <laughs> I'll explain how the scoring works. You get one point if your fake answer is guessed by the other contestant and another point if you correctly guess the answer. By, by the, the way, way, I'm, I'm also, also playing, playing as the, the house. house. <laughs> 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 I've put in two of my own fake answers for each question and I get a point for each one of those that our guests choose. So each of us can score up to two points per round. It seems fair, but apparently the probability favours me, the house, and the house always wins. Unless you've listened to previous episodes of the show and you'll know that that is hardly ever true. Anyway, our questions come from our great Patreon supporters. And if you want to submit a question, sign up on any level via patreon.com slash pod, And that'll be linked in the show notes. Okay, now let's have a look. Dave's still tippity-tapping away. <laughs> Just got hers in very quickly. <laughs> Can you see my answer yet? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be a surprise because that makes you laugh. (laughs) (laughs) I'm in. (laughs) I'm so excited. Oh, I cannot wait to hear what that mind has come up with. You won't know it's mine. Okay. Your answer. Jess Perkins here. My answer is. (laughs) <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Okay, psychopomp. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the, the question is, what is the definition of the word psychopomp? you got five options. Okay. <laughs> okay, just poke a face and poke a laugh. Okay. A Norwegian orchestra that reinterprets classical pieces as death metal songs. That's Jess Perkins right there. <laughs> <laughs> a chin strap used to attach large hats to people's heads. <laughs> A spirit who guides the recently dead to the afterlife. A a ceremonial hat often worn while leading a marching band. Or my (laughs) (laughs) ex-wife. You look up psychopomp in the dictionary. What do you see? A picture of my (laughs) ex-wife. She took everything. <laughs> okay, so I think that uh, <laughs> the Norwegian one was clearly just as a joke answer, but I, so I'm going to look in uh, my ex wife. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we hear the answers one more time, really quickly? Sure, can. So you got a Norwegian orchestra that reinterprets classical pieces as death metal songs. A chin strap used to attach large hats to people's heads. A spirit who guides the recently dead to the afterlife. A ceremonial hat often worn while leading a marching band. Or my (laughs) ex-wife. Was there instructions on how to deliver that or have you just nailed it? No, I'm not. Sorry, am I saying that differently to the others? (laughs) My (laughs) ex-wife. Uh, Jess, any theories? I kind of want it to. I don't think it's a chin strap. I'm going to say it's the Norwegian uh, orchestra. Okay. That's what I'm locking in. Norwegian orchestra. Okay, I'm Bob. tossing up between <laughs> my ex wife. Uh-huh. I'm tossing up between uh, the other band one or the other hat one. Sorry, the hat one for the for a marching band. Ha- hat one for a marching band or the afterlife one. I mean, yeah, psycho-pump. but I don't know where psycho comes from for with afterlife. What does psycho mean? That's a good point. I have. No, I don't really know. It must mean something, right? What's a psychopath? Well, and then like psychology and psychiatry. So it's like the the is it etymology of psych? Jesse, you looking it up? Is oh, that well, well oh, she's yeah. already locked in her answer. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with. Um, oh, psych comes from Greek meaning breath, spirit, soul, mind. Okay. I'm gonna. That's really influenced my answer. I'm gonna go with <laughs> uh, the marching band. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm like, well, normally you, you wouldn't allow Jess to basically help that much, but uh, Dave is not accepting the help. I will uh, not. I refuse. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
trying to. She's made up a Google definition of her own over there. We already know yeah. she's good at making up definitions. Yeah, she's, very good at she's it. She's right in your head now. Uh, all right. Ugh. Here is who wrote the answers. Chin strap used to attach large hats to people's heads. That was Dave Vornike. Mm-hmm. That was me. Mm. Absolutely. Because uh, you've got a weird shaped head, so you you need I devices need, to keep. But hats I have on. irregularly shaped chin. <laughs> so. Uh, we had my ex-wife. That was written by Jess Perkins. Might what? Surprise you there, Dave. <laughs> Bit of a shock. So you didn't just lock in your own answer of Norwegian. <laughs> no, I didn't. Huh. thought that was strange. <laughs> uh, a ceremonial hat often worn while leading a marching band. That was the how. No, oh. boo. You just delivered a point straight into the, through the front door of the house. Oh, God. Yeah, well, I've also thrown a brick through your window. So, <laughs> so how about up that? Yours. Up yours, house. Uh, well, that brick was attached to a point from Jess Perkins because the Norwegian orchestra was also written by the house. Oh, no. The correct yeah. answer was a spirit who guides the recently <laughs> dead oh, damn it. to the afterlife. I really thought you were messing with me there. <laughs> Interesting. I did not know where psych came from. Mm. And it doesn't make a whole Greece. lot of sense Yeah. in the context that we use it in now. Where does pomp come from? <laughs> Maybe you'll answer that. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you'll like, will you answer that? Uh, I can't remember. I wrote something down a while ago. Often you've got a little bit of uh, information yeah, about it, so I right. won't do too much research on my own because I'm sure you'll answer my questions. We're up to question two now. Okay. Can we just have a score check? Yeah, quick score check. Quick score check. Uh, the, uh, the house is on two points. Okay. okay. Jess, mm-hmm. you're on no points. Okay. Dave, also on no points. All right, Equal second. That's pretty good yeah, But if us. we add our scores together, surely we beat the house. That's surely. true. Or you zero. could Plus multiply zero. them. <laughs> yeah, zero squared. Yeah. Take that house. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck you, house. Fuck you, house. I'm going to burn down your house. <laughs> All right, so question number two comes from Nathan Bauer from York in the UK. The question is, in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. I'll take this. A female Yoda can be seen on the Jedi Council, but what is her name? So in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, there's a female Yoda, which is, of course is Yoda with a long hair wig. Yep. Yep. What is her name? While you're writing uh, your answers out, I can tell people a little bit more about psychopomp. Classic psychopomps include the Egyptian god Anubis. Or An- Anubis. Anubis, thank you. Or Greek ferryman Charon. Or Charon. Who and- we've had on this very show before. Yeah, what? Or a, a one of our podcasts we talked about. Charon. Charon, yeah, and we said it wrong then. Sharon. Sharon. That's <laughs> we right. yelled Sharon. Ah, yes. But that's fun. Also, Roman god Mercury and the Norse Valkyries, but they appear in many different cultures in many different guises, such as anthropomorphic entities, horses, deers, dogs, whip poor wheels, ravens, crows, vultures, owls, sparrows, and cuckoos. When seen as birds, they are often seen in huge masses waiting outside the home of the dying. I've heard of that. You know, I think um, Sharon, Sharon, I think it's the hippo from um, Moon Knight. I reckon this is exactly the conversation we had last time. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just yelled Sharon a few times. Sharon. All right, so the answers are in for question number two. In Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace, a female Yoda can be seen on the Jedi Council, but what was her name? Oh, fuck. Just thought of a better one. <laughs> anyway, keep going. You could, it's not too late. No, it's fine. <laughs> We've all thought of better ones. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay, great. All right, here are your five options. Nog Stinkly. <laughs> Yodel Whoop. Yaddle. Yodelina. Or Bar Bar Bonks. Oh, tough. Nog Stinkly. Yodel Whoop. Yaddle. Yodelina. Or Bar Bar Bonks. <laughs> How did you keep a straight face through any of those? <laughs> They're all batshit. First one again. <laughs> Nog Stinkly. Yeah, I don't think it's Nog Stinkly, but it <laughs> genuinely could be any of the others. It could be. Fuck, it could be Nog Stinkly. It could stinkly. be Nog Stinkly, honestly. But I've obviously got an advantage here because for my ninth birthday, I was given a Darth Maul hat. Okay. For my, Did you at my ninth birthday party. Did you have a pump to keep that on? Yeah, yeah. I had a, psycho, had a psycho pump. Um, but my favourite character was, of course, Nog Stinkly. <laughs> and I was disappointed when I unwrapped the hat and it had a picture of Darth instead of Nog. Oh, that, is, that is upsetting. And uh, the evil version, Darth Nog Stinkly. <laughs> now that, that's where it's at. Mm. Okay. So Dave's saying you're, you're locking that one in? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I hear them again? Yep. Nog Stinkly. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yoda Whoop, Yaddle, Yodelina, or Baba Bonks. <laughs> I'm going to go Yaddle. Yaddle for Bop. 
I love Nog Stinkley and I love Bar Bar Bonks so much. I'm going to say Nog Stinkley. Re- okay, yep. Yeah, it's great. It is good. If it's not right, then it's not right. You because know what if I mean? we told, if like it had been another character, what's this character called? And it shows you a picture of Jar Jar Binks yeah. and Matt read that out. We'd all be laughing. Like, of that's the stupidest <laughs> name I've ever heard. No, which is why Bar Bar Bonks Bar Bar Bonks. Seems to make Jar Jar Binks, Bar Bar Bonks. <laughs> So you've, you've, you're locking in Nog Stinkley. Nog Stinkley. <laughs> okay. I want to believe. <laughs> All right, let's go through the answers. Uh, Yodel Whoop. That was Dave Warner. Kid. It's actually pronounced Yodel Whoop. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. That, would that, have, would that, have, that would have changed that everything. Would have, that would have changed everything. Okay. Should I, do you want a point, a, a pity point for that? Sure, Don't I'm allowed. Don't give a pity point for that. Don't give a pity point. You also said my last answer in a weird intonation. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't. I didn't, didn't get a point for, a for that. Point. No, that's true. I mean, do you it's want not one? how I would have delivered that. Oh, can I have a pity point? <laughs> can we? Both oh, yeah, if we can both have a pity both point, point. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. But right. the house will have no pity points. <laughs> okay. No one pities. No the house. pity for the house. All right, I'll give you each a pity point. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Yoda whoop. Sorry, that's how when I celebrate. That's what I say. And I, and mine would have been my ex-wife. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, ex-wife. So. <laughs> and my ex-wife is essentially <laughs> what he was doing. Uh, well, sorry, I apologise. Uh, Yodelina, that was Jess Perkins. <laughs> that's funny. No, but but what I, was the funnier one? Yodelay, hee hoo, <laughs> would have been way better. <laughs> Uh, Baba Bonks was the house. Boo. Nog oh. Stinkley, also the house. No, come on. Yaddle was correct. Jess Perkins gets a point. Her name is yes! Yaddle. What an absolute, that was a total guess because they all sounded fucking ridiculous. So plus your pity point, you get two points that round. Yes. Uh, no, your pity point should have been round one. So you got yours, but you are on two points. Two points. Dave now with a pity point is on one. <laughs> I feel like that. It shouldn't have an asterisk next to it. <laughs> okay. It should just be a point. Okay, a, okay. No, but we all know. We, yeah, it's yeah. a PP point. A PP point. A PP. Okay. <laughs> what's, the, what's the second P for? It's, it's point, but it's a bit like ATM machine, right. you know? PP point, point. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And then I'm one of those people that's like, um, actually. Yeah, exactly. Well, but that's why you get a pity point. Cause I learned recently that the B in Humphrey B. Bear stands for bear. Oh, that's good. Humphrey Bear Bear. Bear Bear. <laughs> A uh, bit of fun. Uh, all right, so quick score update. Dave on one pity point no. with an asterisk next week. <laughs> Sorry, is that what you asked me is to do? Is that what you want? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's exactly right. Great. I want, I want one, the people to know. Dave, but I'm not sorry, ashamed. here we go. Dave on one very special boy <laughs> point. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, what I want it to be called. <laughs> the VSBP. <laughs> Jess is on two points. Both legitimate, <laughs> but out in front is the house on three oh, points. Okay. Nothing legitimate about the house. But we could combine our skills and take down the house. Combine our points? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Are let's you happy to take on my VSBP point? Yeah, but we're, we've got we've got to work together in the next round. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great. So we're up to the final round, and on this show we love to finish with a movie synopsis. And this question comes from Harris Daver from The Fortress of the Moles. Oh. Uh, in brackets, not that one, the other one. <laughs> oh, okay then. Thank God. Ah, phew. Might be one of the is friendly that, ones. Yeah, that first one. Not a good place. Uh, so your question is, your final question, and uh, you got each got two points up for grabs. So this is anyone's game. If you yeah, get but we're going to work here. together. So I reckon, Dave, just make it really obvious that it's you writing it. Oh, that's right. P- movie plot. Fake, right. fake movie, and then that will uh, that will narrow down what we're choosing from, and then we can take on the house. Okay, <laughs> Dave, you might lose your pity point if you play those, but but that's outside. The well, it'll be upgraded game. to a, a real point. point. Yeah. So your question is, I'm ready. A BB point. <laughs> what is the synopsis of the 1999 film The Straight Story? What is the synopsis of the 1999 film The Straight Story? While you're writing your answers, I will let the audience know a little bit more about Yaddle. (laughs) According to Nathan, the question writer, after 40 years of history in the Star Wars universe, Yoda is one of the few characters, if not the only character, not to have his species named. It is still one of the big mysteries of the franchise. Dave, is that enough to get you in? I know you don't love Star Wars as much as you did as a kid. Yeah. Is that the kind of thing to get you back in? The mystery of Yoda's species? Yes. Maybe they could do a Disney Plus series dedicated to that. 
I'm in, I'm in. I feel like that they've they have you know they're going to explore every character, aren't they? They're going to just wring that thing completely dry. If not, why not? Um, according to the Star Wars fandom page, Yaddle, a force sensitive female being of the same species as Grandmaster Yoda and Grogu, was a Jedi Master and member of the Jedi High Council during the last years of the Galactic Republic. She trained a this piss. <laughs> She trained a Thispiazian Padawan, Opo Rancisis. I mean, you know, sort of this goes to what we were talking about before. <laughs> uh, who eventually joined Yaddle on the High Council by the time of the invasion of Naboo. In 32 BBY, Qui-Gon Jinn brought the Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker, to the Jedi Council on Coruscant. I'm so sorry, Star Wars fans. They oh. are screaming. And I've phones. I've watched every live action Star Wars thing. I'm I'm watching the current one, Anne Boleyn or whatever it's called. It's not that. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm that. I My know. apologies only going to offend them more. Yeah. But I've se- I've seen them all. I haven't seen the cartoons. We've seen it. But I, yeah, I'm I'm not good with uh, pronouncing words. <laughs> it's good because you talk for a living. Yeah. Um, so Qui Gon Jinn brought Anakin Skywalker to Coruscant where he met Yaddle. <laughs> Sorry, what did you call me? <laughs> oh, dear. And uh, and the Jedi elders. After the Battle of Naboo, Yaddle took a less active role in the Jedi Order's affairs and was no longer on the High Council by the time of the Clone Wars. Can you tell Dave to hurry up? I've put mine in, but I've accidentally. Oh, what are you tippy tapping away on? Why are you tippy tapping away then? Uh, because I hit, I hit enter before I wanted to, so. Oh. So what, you're just starting again? I don't think I can. Yeah. Uh... So so then what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing if I can start again. <laughs> what, are you hacking into the mainframe? <laughs> what, what are you doing over there? Okay. Don't worry about it. All right, all the answers are in. Dave was not able to get into the mainframe yet. Like just before, you have to stick with your first answer here. <laughs> yeah, no. you can't change it to your lay here who. <laughs> Though Matt did say you did have a chance to change it, you just decided not to. I just started laughing lying. again, thinking about my ex-wife. <laughs> my ex-wife. <laughs> ah, it's funny. Ah, it's good stuff. All right, here are your psychopomp. <laughs> here are your five possible answers for the synopsis of the 1999 film *The Straight Story*. Here we go. Okay. A slow TV movie following a journey from Adelaide to Darwin as the crow flies. A man in his 70s goes on a road trip from Iowa to Wisconsin to see his estranged brother using only his ride on mower. <laughs> a disgraced PI and no nonsense journalist team up to investigate the murder of a nightclub singer. They have to sift through the lies and muck in order to get the straight story. <laughs> in brackets, the story. Straight. Do they say that in uh, the movie? I hope so. I'm just trying to get to the straight story here. Wink. Uh, (laughs) At the height of the Y2K crisis, Dr. Chris Carter yells out, Hey, Dave, that's not a real movie synopsis. That's my (laughs) (laughs) ex-wife. What was the doctor's name? Uh, Chris Carter. Wow. From the (laughs) X-Files. Incredible. Yeah, I guess he, yeah. So it was, a, it was sort of based on on true on true story. <laughs> That's not my example. <laughs> okay, this is it. I mean, I'm, we're trying to show the listeners how this show works, and I think someone here isn't taking it that seriously. I'm trying very hard. So, <laughs> Dave, lift your game, please. It's a little bit embarrassing that you're saying that someone's not taking it seriously. They are beating me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Two to one. Wait, what do you mean? The house isn't taking it seriously. Mm-hmm. Well, that's very inappropriate. Uh, finally. Six boys are arrested for stealing the class cat, each with their own version of events. Can the cops ever get to the bottom of the straight story? <laughs> Do they say that to the camera? <laughs> These all sound so good. <laughs> Love them all. I'd watch them all. Yeah. Can we hear them one, one more, time, more time really quickly, Matt? When I get back to Hollywood, sit behind my desk, yeah. if I see any of these scripts land there, mm-hmm. I'm green lighting them straight okay. up. Right. All right. So here are the options. Straight story up. Yes. Mm. A slow TV movie following a journey from Adelaide to Darwin as the crow flies. No. Potentially early for a, a I don't yeah. know when uh, slow TV came what in. Movie, what year did this come out? 99. 99. Uh, a man in his 70s goes on a road trip from Iowa to Wisconsin to see his estranged brother using only his ride on mower. A disgraced PI 
and a no-nonsense journalist team up to investigate the murder of a nightclub singer. They have to sift through the lies and the muck in order to get the straight story, in brackets, the story straight. At the heart of the... <laughs> At the height of the Y2K crisis, Dr. Chris Carter yells out, Hey, Dave, <laughs> that's not the real movie synopsis. That's my ex-wife. That sounds, that sounds compelling. Y2K, that was very relevant in 1999. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, Or six boys are arrested for stealing the class cat, each with their own version of events. Can the cops ever get to the bottom of the straight story. So, Dave, I'm obviously pretty disappointed in you in that I said let's work together and then you did nothing to help me. It's pretty obvious which one's mine. I don't think it is because they all sound dumb. Also, if you're if you're trying to if you were trying to rig it, you'd want to be you wouldn't you'd want to guess the other person's right. Why? Oh, to give him a point. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, but I'm I I have the best chance of beating the house. Yes, right. So yeah, for you to get maximum points, you got to get the right answer, and you got you want Dave to pick yours. Yeah, Sorry, okay. Jess, I am a lone wolf. <laughs> All right, cool. and I'm playing the team. Have fun then. <laughs> Sorry, I've just turned you guys against each other. Have you? I think I guess we'll never get to the I bottom think Matt of and I are fine. the straight story. Okay. The hunter has become the prey. <laughs> uh, Dave, what do you think? Do you want to? Talk us through the board here. Oh, talk you through the board. I wish I could. That's what they always say. Wish I could. Um, <laughs> first one, I feel like, yeah, a little bit early for slow TV maybe. Uh, the ride on mower, that's really, that's got my attention. Yeah. As does my ex-wife. <laughs> She's got your attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. She will not stop calling and I will not stop not answering. And <laughs> and then we had the two that uh, referenced the name of the movie. Yeah, the two that referenced the movie. Which I know you and I are big fans of. I love when they do that. Jess, you a fan of that? Love it. And they do it if, when they do it in the IMDb <laughs> plot. That that's the PI thing. That sounds like it could be a movie, you know. Disgrace PI and no nonsense journalist. I mean, that's I'm I'm oh, loving man. it early. Who are we casting in that? Um, I'm going to go the mower. Right on mower. Right on mower for day. Straight story. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do right on mower. You can. There's no there's no reason why. You well, can't maybe I'll do the in. journalist and the PI. So one of the ones that references the movie title. Yeah. Because if you if you get if you guess one, yep, it's up to you. What if I what? Well, if you you know, it's just up to you. Just try and pick the right one. <laughs> I but like I tried. I'll just I'll read it out again, and you if if you want to get it, still lock it in. A disgraced PI and no nonsense <laughs> journalist team up to investigate the murder of a nightclub singer. Yeah, they have to sift through the lies and uh, the muck. Yeah, in order to get dot dot dot. The straight story, in brackets, the story straight. Yep, that's what, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> okay. Why are you laughing? Like I that's, don't know. All right, well no then reason. which one do you think they I should pick? They had me until the brackets. All right, let's. <laughs> Does IMDb do that? <laughs> well, no, these aren't necessarily from IMDb. Uh, me and the house, we. Uh, you we, watch the movie. We rewrite. We, you know, we, we write it in our own words, basically. All right, so here are who wrote the answers. Uh, the story about the cats, that was Dave Vornike. There was one about cats? Yeah, six, <laughs> six students oh, yeah, 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 yep, take yep. the class cat. I yep. think I believe that one as well until the can the cops ever get to the bottom of the straight story. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Neither does the title of the movie at all. How the could it make story. sense? How could it make sense for any of these? Uh at the height of the Y2K crisis, Dr. Chris Carter yells out, Hey, Dave, that's not a real movie synopsis. That's my ex-wife. That was Jess Perkins. What? Yeah, that Dave in it was for you specifically. <laughs> Holy fuck. I thought about writing Dave Warnicke, but I thought, no, nah, he'll get it. <laughs> I did not get that. Wow. I just, there's a lot of Daves out there. you got to be specific. <laughs> that's true. There's a lot of Dave Warnickeys out I'm not there. Gonna be, I'm not going to assume it's me, but my date of birth in brackets. <laughs> and my pin number. Yeah. A slow <laughs> Which you know. <laughs> A slow TV movie following a journey from Adelaide to Darwin as the crow flies. That was the house. Boo. Uh, as was a disgraced PI, no nonsense journalist teaming up to investigate. <gasps> singer. That was also the house. Meaning the correct answer was a man in his 70s goes on a road trip from Iowa to Wisconsin to see his estranged brother using only his ride on mower. Yeah, it's by a famous uh, auteur, surprisingly, David Lynch. Oh, really? There you go. I'll read a, a quick um, uh, review synopsis in a second. These movies are uh, famously difficult to write down what is going on. <laughs> yeah. So the score update is Jess on two points, 
Dave on two points. But out in front, it's the house on four points. Wow. But if we combine our scores, we equal the house. Yeah, scores level. You said not moments ago... <laughs> I'm whoa, a whoa, lone wolf. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck off, lone wolf. You misinterpreted my tone. <laughs> when I say a lone wolf, that means I love being with you. No, you don't. On no, a team. Fuck off. What? You right. keep your two measly little points. One okay. of which was a pity point. Can I just say, if, oh, if the house were to team up with me right now, we would crush <laughs> Jess Perkins. Are you willing to do it, house? Will you take me in? Uh, I mean, I've already given you a pity Leave point. him on the frickin' porch. <laughs> oh, God, let me in. No. <laughs> I want to win. Stay outside, you dog. <laughs> Fuck. Can we do the next four four questions as usual? I reckon I can, I'm getting the hang of this. Well, that's uh. the thing. Three questions isn't enough. This is a little taster. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, the other episodes, episode one you were both on and uh, that one went down to the wire from memory. Um, great fun. I, I really fun. enjoy making this show. Um, and Dave and I are going to be doing some live ones in the UK in, you know, just a couple of weeks. Yeah, coming up in November, we're going over for some podcasts, some of which are Who Knew with Matt Stewart, some of which are my other show, Book Cheat, and then we're going to do some stand-up at each show. So each show, two shows for the price of one. Oh, my God, such great value. The stand-up will be the same each time. Um, some people like Gary J from the UK are going to be reciting along. They'll know it. They'll with our actually, because of that, Gary, I'm going to do uh, six brand-new shows. You're going to New material every night. It's not going to be good. New, not, no, it'll be all. And this is Gary J's fault. <laughs> okay, fair. I just want everyone to know that. Yeah, go to the first show. Yeah. That'll be Dave doing the best <laughs> yeah, he's got. That's right. See us in Birmingham, and it will get progressively worse in Glasgow, Leeds, Manchester, Bristol, and then London will be an absolute train wreck. <laughs> if you're not in the UK, you can see my stand up uh, on the Stupid Old Channel now. There's a, an hour of comedy up there that just went up uh, this week. Please check it out. Like and comment and subscribe. <laughs> Uh, now, the film A Straight Story has got a 95% approval rate on Rotten Tomatoes. Scott Tobias of AV Club wrote, With his sweet lyrical masterpiece, David Lynch frees himself from the heavy irony and noir affectations of his last few films, discovering the pure mythical slice of Americana previously confined to Agent Cooper's coffee and donuts in Twin Peaks. Well, that, that sounds good. Scott Tobias loved it. Um all right, yeah. So, uh, where can people find you two? Yeah, but <laughs> can find us on the Do Go On podcast, which you're listening to right now, um, and I don't know Instagram. Like you, it's the it's the 2022. Yeah, freaking Google me, <laughs> please, please for the love of God. Uh, and Dave's the same. You can also Google him. Absolutely, I'd love to be Googled. Uh, I'd love to Google. Thanks so much for listening. Please check out the rest of the show. There's some great episodes up there. Uh, and as it's a new show, all your support would be fantastically appreciated. Give us a review if you want. Five stars, ideally. At uh, the minimum. <laughs> it's, it's, what's it out of? Five. I don't think that's the minimum. What do you mean? Anyway. Yeah, so five. I'm saying, like, if you're thinking, I'll give them a four star, fuck off. Shove oh. that four star up your ass. <laughs> and find another star up there. Find another Pull star. It out. It's five or nothing. That's all I'm saying. God, you two are very literal, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for joining us. And as we always say here at Who Knew It with Matt Stewart, bye, dog stinkly. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it makes bye, sense. Bye, dog stinkly. You hated every second of that. Try it again, but commit to it. <laughs> Goodbye, Nog Stinkly. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and goodbye, Nog Stinkly. Here we go. <laughs>